Well, hey there, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you with another computer video. Most of you guys by now probably know my good friend Mike. Uh, he has that YouTube channel, The Primal Edge. Um, he does leather work and uh, also does a lot of uh, bushcrafting videos. Well, about a month ago, he told me about two laptops that his uh, father bought, um, I guess about two years ago. And uh, he wanted me to go through and basically clean them up and reinstall Windows. So he finally got them over to me today, and I just thought I'd show you guys um, what they actually have. These are identical laptops. They're both uh, HP uh, Model 2000 series. You can see a little bit better right there. Uh, they came with Norton originally, which looks like that's what they still have on them. Um, but unfortunately, that was that is long gone, that subscription. And at least in the case of this one, I can tell that there's quite a bit of adware, malware on here. It's got that infamous System Optimizer Pro and a few other uh, issues on here. So these are both running Windows 8. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to install the Windows 10 uh, Insider Preview. This is build uh, 10162 on both these computers. Now, from what I understand, when the full version of Windows 10 comes out at the end of this month, as long as you have this installed, it'll just be, it'll come as an update and it'll check the BIOS to make sure that you are eligible and it'll actually update to the final version of Windows 10. So I mentioned that to him and he said, yeah, by all means, go ahead and wipe these computers and go ahead and install Windows 10. Now, I'll go ahead and see, I'm not even sure exactly what these have other than the fact I know that they do have Core i3 processors. So I'm going to go in here and see what they are spec-wise. I know we said they are identical in specs, so we'll just check this one out here. Okay, they have Core i3, 3110M chips, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, these would be dual core. They have three, uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM with 3.89 usable, probably the video card, because I believe these have Intel graphics. And they are using the 64-bit versions of the... Um, of the operating systems. Now, I don't see any reason that these would not work with Windows 10, and as you guys know, um, I've installed Windows 10 on my HP triple core and then my laptop downstairs. And for the most part, the technical preview has run flawlessly. I've only found one or two bugs in each, and they're little things I could deal with. One was an issue printing with Google Chrome. Uh, that was with this computer, and then the one downstairs had an issue with the display driver. Every time I turned it on, it would say that it crashed, even though it hadn't. But I'm not too worried about it. Those are definitely going to be fixed with the uh, final release. Now, the really cool thing, and I really want to thank Mike for this. Um, I, For doing this work, he has actually given me something that I've wanted for a long time that I was going to buy myself but he had lying around that he was not using anymore. And I won't keep you guys in suspense. That is this. This is an iPad 2. Now, I haven't done anything with it yet. This is going to warrant its own separate video. I have to restore it. They didn't have a chance to do that. But this is the 32 gigabyte version, as you can see down here, of the iPad 2. And it is model A1395. So I really can't wait to start using this. This does, the iPad 2 does have the built-in um, 720p, so uh, it is a high-definition camera on the outside. 
And he's also going to be giving me a tripod mount so I can actually use this to film some videos, which I'm really, really excited about doing in the near future. Um, so basically, in lieu of payment, he basically traded this to me, and I'm going to go ahead and fix these two laptops. So once again, Mike, thank you very, very much. That iPad 2 is going to come in great use to me. So I'm going to go ahead and start installing Windows 10 on these computers, and uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly. All right, so I have uh, Windows 10 installing on this computer. I thought I'd go ahead and go over the uh, ports on these. Um, this was kind of your budget uh, laptop back around 2012 when these were made. Um, HP used this design for quite a few of their laptops. There were a lot of uh, compacts that used this as well. Um, it lasted uh, pretty long. I think they discontinued this style right around 2014. Um, basically here you have your touchpad. I like the size of it, but it has kind of a uh, rough texture on it. Um, I prefer, just personally for me, I prefer the smooth pads because after a while it can kind of uh, get abrasive to your fingers. I, I kind of have sensitive skin, so that might just be an issue that I have. Um, the keyboards are still in good shape. They have a nice texture to them. They're not all worn down. Um, as you can see on the front here, the, these do have the Alltech Lansing speakers, which sound pretty good. Um, they're not the greatest, but, you know, they get the job done as, as good as any laptop speaker is. Again, they are Core i3s. On this side, you have your dual-layer DVD burners. These are not Blu-ray drives. You have uh, two USB 2.0 ports. I don't believe there's any 3.0 on this. Uh, your power adapter and your power LED light right there. Back here you have your Kensington lock port. And on this side we have a SD card reader. You have your hard drive indicator here. Um, this I'm sorry, this one might actually be the power indicator the, that the computer's on. The other one is the indicator that indicates that you have the AC plug in. Uh, headphone, microphone, uh, another USB 2.0 port, uh, HDMI out, 10 100 Ethernet, a basic uh, cooling vent, and VGA out. And that just about does it for ports on these laptops. They do have a built-in webcam, but I'm going to be disabling that because uh, Mike asked me to make sure that they couldn't use things like Skype or or any of the other chat services, so those will be disabled when uh, Windows reinstalls. And as you can see, Windows 10 did boot up. The uh, install screen is very similar at this point to Windows 7, so that's all right. We'll go ahead and click Next. And I do want to install now. I'm not doing any repairs on here. Sorry about the uh, glare in the background. Uh, I have to have that window open or this room is really, really dark. And you can see it says setup is starting windows. This part might take a minute. Now it asked me to put the uh, product key in and I don't mind showing you this. This is just the generic product key they use for the technical preview. And you can see it right here. I just printed it out. Um, for you guys that need it, you can pause the video and read it. It's right there. So let's make sure that this actually goes through. Do, do, do. That looks good. And I got to accept the terms and uh, sign my life away here. And we're going to do a cut. It gives you two options here. You can do an upgrade, which will keep all the files and settings, or you can do a custom install. And that's the one we're going to choose because I don't want to save anything that's on this hard drive. He does not care at all. And as you can see, there are a lot of extra drives on here that have been created, some maybe even by the infection. So I'm going to delete all of this and we'll go ahead and continue from there. All right, now that we got all those old partitions deleted, we can go ahead and install Windows 10. 
So again, very, very similar interface to Windows 7. I actually didn't do it this way with mine, since on uh, my two computers I didn't want to delete all my files. I just did an upgrade from within the operating system, and uh, that window looks very different. Uh, that one's just, you know, looks me almost like a regular installation file from a, pro from a program or an app. Well, this is going to take a little while, so uh, I'm going to let this continue, and once it's finished, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, well, I decided to take a break from working on the computers and run out to the uh, thrift store, because most guys probably know today is sale day, and uh, I just had a really nice rain shower. Luckily, I haven't left yet. I'm going to hold off a minute and see if it slows down, but <laughs> it's actually started slowing down even as we speak. But when I first got into this car, it was pouring so hard I couldn't even see out of the window. Well, I guess I picked a really good time to go to the thrift store. Look at this rain. <laughs> it's funny, it comes in spurts. Two, it's like two minutes on, two minutes off. But yeah, we'll be alright. You can see the clouds up there. This is just like a one little cloud burst because if you look along the edges there, you can see it's clear. So probably I only have to deal with this for a few more minutes and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I get back home. Woo! Well, I just got back from the thrift store, the dollar store, and I went to a local uh, supermarket and this is what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, for those of you guys that live uh, in the south southeast, um, you might have a store called Harris Teeter. And this week they're having a killer deal on peaches. 49 cents a pound, which is almost unheard of these days. And I'll show you guys what I actually got. I got two full bags of peaches. If you can see here, that is totally filled with peaches probably about 10 in each, so about 20 peaches, and I got both of those bags for a total of $4.89. So if you guys live in Virginia and you have a Harris Teeter or anywhere in the southeast, make sure you check them out because we're going to be making some peach pies. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that on camera because as you guys know my mom's a little shy, but uh, I'll try to coax her into it. Talk to you later. Alright, so I'm back home and it looks like Windows 10 has installed properly. It's asking me to enter the security key from my network, which I have. Go ahead and click next here. Looks like it's just going to verify that that is a good account, and it is. For now I'm going to use Express Settings because uh, when they get the computer back they're going to be changing the settings on here anyway. Um, since she had Windows 8, I think she's going to go ahead and just log into uh, her user account again. And I think we're going to have a successful install here, everybody. Very smooth, no no hiccups. I'm, again, I'm, I know I've said this before, I'll say yeah, I'm very impressed with Windows 10 as to how good it is without a lot of bugs. I'm not used to that from a technical preview. Uh, let's see, choice... Who does this PC belong to? I own. It's just asking if it's owned by an individual or an organization. In this case, it is an individual, so we'll go ahead and click Next. And I'm going to go ahead and skip this now, because again, like I said, she's going to go ahead and log into uh, this PC on her own, with her own account. Let's see. Uh, create an account for this PC. I, it may let me, let me see if it lets me go without doing that. It looks like I have to have, a, at very least, a, a, a username, so I'm just going to call it user for right now. Oh. Forgot I left the cap locks on. And we'll click next. Awesome! Looks like this is going to work out just fine. Make sure that all the drivers are installed properly. And I'm going to go to device manager here. And yep, yeah, it looks like everything's installed properly, so this was definitely a successful installation. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. The next thing you're going to see is a review probably of my new iPad 2. This computer I'm going to do the exact same thing to as this. They're both going to get the fresh install of Windows 10. And I'm going to install basic antivirus, anti-spyware software. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.